Hello everybody, I'm glad you're here today. I'm going to just turn this as maybe a red alert video in that I am hearing some escalation happening in the Middle East, in the Red Sea, the Maersk ship being attacked. Uh, that's that, that means things are not calming down. Uh, so we're going to talk about just a couple of things that I'm noticing that are kind of bugging me a little bit, that are kind of go like little red flags. Not horrible, not horrible, y'all, but just stuff I'm going, hmm, all right, well, that's not calming down now, is it? I also want to bring you a word I received this morning. Today is December 31st, 2023, New Year's Eve, and uh, New Year Eve, New Year's Eve. It's the eve of the new year. <laughs> So, Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, we will just get right to it. A uh, couple of things. I am notice, I, I, I have been tuning in to NY Prepper. I uh, subscribe to his channel, and he is delivering some pretty great information right now. Uh, the Houthi rebels attacking the Maersk ship in the last 24 hours, uh, the United States got involved in that. That's just something I'm watching. Is something going to happen from that? Something big? I don't, I kind of doubt it. But still, it's just like, hmm. You know, it's just like another tally mark on the board that I'm just like, things are not calming down, y'all. What happened in Europe, Eastern Europe, with the conflict there? I'm not going to say those country names, those countries' names, uh, but... Please just kind of do your own research. There have been huge, huge escalations in the last 48 hours, maybe 72 hours over there. Just uh, I, I've wondered if they've just taken a whole new strategy uh, and just like, hey, we're just going to escalate all of this right now because that's what it feels like so those are i'm not hanging on every word of that i'm not like getting in a lather over that i will tell you that but it's just stuff i'm noting mentally i think what bugged me the most i'm going to just tell you this this bugged me the most i watched a little bit of canadian prepper this morning i cannot watch a lot of him now i do not know why does he just talk too much i'm not sure i'm one to say though huh but anyway i just uh this morning, he put out a video, or maybe it was last night, uh, about, and the thing that bugged me, that just did not sit right with me, is the emergency alert sound system going off in Washington, D.C. The public, it was, apparently, this woman videoed it. It looked like a legit video. He had kind of done some, uh, you know, actually research to see if it had been altered at all he thought it was real a big sound system emergency broadcast system this is this is just a test blah 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 uh going off for two hours she said now i if that i'm y'all i'm just saying if that had happened before now they said oh yeah we always test this but i'm like if that had happened before would we not have had videos on it would we not have seen that on our preppers channels that just absolutely jump on stuff like that, like stink on a hog? You know, I'm just saying that they're saying that that looks that that looks unusual to me, and I find that that bothers me. That bothers me. It bothers me that the president of the United States has uh, built a bunker in his Delaware home. I don't know. You know, I was talking to my mom and dad about that. My mom was like, hey, you know, they secure the the president's house. And I'm like, yeah, but this, they said this was a bunker. I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think? Give me your opinions. Do you, which of those things bugs you the most? Or are you hearing something the rest of us are not? Now, I know many of you. Thank you. For saying, I am from this state, and this is what I see, nothing, or I see this, or I see that, or I live close to this Air Force Base, or whatever. That is helpful. Thank you when you comment that way. I appreciate it so much. It helps us all. Now, I'm going to just get to this word, and then we're going to just shut it down. Y'all have a very safe and happy New Year's Eve. All right, this is what I heard from the Lord this morning. As I was worshiping, I got up at four which is my habit and i was in worship for a while and then the lord's like write this down so here we go 
December 31st, 2023. Share this with my remnant. My blessed children, despair not about the devastation of the coming days. Do not tremble, for I warn you now of these things. When you see the waves, hear the cries of help, you will know and say to yourself, Aha, this is what my father told me would happen. I know what I must do. What should you do then, my children, as you are seeing war ravage nation after nation? Pray. Your knees will bear the largest wounds from the battlefield you're fighting on. All can pray. All of you, my dearest ones, fall on your knees and be well equipped in prayer. For your faith is displayed, grown, given by that one action. Prepare now yourselves and pantries. I'm sorry. Back that up. Prepare now your shelves and pantries. Like the squirrel prepares for winter, do the same. Yes, do the best you can. I will provide all you need, whether in these days before the strike or in the days of devastation. I will not leave you. I am your provision. I will remind you now, my children, while there is still time, while the hourglass empties its last grains of sand. You are all different, my lovely ones. Not all of you will hear me the same or serve me the same. Do not long for a task I have given to another. Walk joyfully in your own purpose in me. All are needed. All can pray. Keep looking at me. Keep watching the horizon. You see already, without my words, the wars are about to be everywhere. The sin of man has made ripe the bitter tree of death. What will happen, you ask me? When will this be? We grow weary of waiting, Lord. I, I tell you the truth. You are already in the thick of battle. For the unseen reeking is wreaking havoc. Your nation of give me liberty or give me death is falling. For liberty is found only in me. Death is the alternative. Yes, I see you, remnant, standing at the ready. Rejoice for my love and hope and mercy. Forgiveness will abound through my Holy Spirit. Joy in the morning for many, many, many will repent. There are no atheists in foxholes, you say. I tell you the truth. There are no atheists when alert when the alert comes. Duck and cover. Let your knees bear the calluses of my battle. My victory has been won. I am your peace, hope, confidence, assurance, comforter, power within you. Shake not, grow weary no more. Furrow not your brows with concern. Instead, look up. I am with you always. And that was it. And that's what I wrote. And that's what I'm bringing you. I you, Do with it as you will. As I always say, filter through the Holy Spirit of God. Look in Scripture. Does any of that align with what is in the Bible? The Bible isn't the, is the supreme word of God. So, be spending some time in that, y'all. Crack that thing open and read it. You'll love it when you get going. Look, I I just want to just tell y'all, I don't feel like anything special. I'm just a person. Just like you're a person. I believe in Jesus, and I love him, and I love to talk about him. So, I'm just telling you what I write down in the mornings when I worship. I respond to that accordingly as best I can and I hope that you do too y'all it's crazy out there y'all it's crazy out there oh I, how much time do I have I should tell y'all there was an incident at my dollar general yesterday when my son was checking out I'm not going to go into that a lot right now but I'm just saying there's some really mean people out there be careful be careful second thing I want to just uh, tag on here on our church channel which is uh, Crossroads Community Church, Bovina, Texas, y'all. I am posting teaching, teaching 
messages on that channel, on our church channel. I don't close it out with, this is Gina Lima Charlie. I don't do that. I just say, thanks for watching. And it's just teaching. If you want to go over to that channel and just view, I just have one up right now. It's about being a part of the body of Christ and where you fit in. So that is on there. I'm going to be making another video for that uh, this week. So there is some teaching going on on that channel. I invite you to go over there and just watch it and become a subscriber to that channel that would really boost our little church we would be so happy for that channel to kind of take off right now y'all there's just three videos on there but we're trying to kind of get rolling with that so anyway that being said be safe this holiday season this new year's eve stay safe and love god be close to jesus while while you can this is gina lima charlie i'm out <laughs>